Rebecca, while you're pregnant, your mind starts racing, you're trying to figure out what to do, and uh, in the midst of it, you make a decision that you want to end this pregnancy. Yeah. Take us back there. Found out about chemical abortion. It was marketed as safe. They tell you it's as simple as taking some Tylenol. And in a moment of panic, what abortion did was it pit me against my child. And it told me that only one of us was going to get out of the situation alive and successful. And I chose me, and I chose the baby I already had. And it seemed like a sacrificial choice. So I got to my car in the parking lot, which maybe took 90 seconds, you know, not very long to have a change of heart. And I sat down and I just thought, oh my gosh, what did I just do? What I think it was is when you're walking in sin and you think you're going the right way and you're walking down this path that seems well illuminated. And then all of a sudden you make this choice and you take that turn. And it was like Satan himself blew out all the candles, all the illumination and said, gotcha. And now you know shame, and now you know pain, and now you know grief, and now you know what it's like to have just listened to me, Satan, straight away from the Lord, and ended your child's life. And I felt in that moment, it sounds silly to say, but like I had been duped, not just from Planned Parenthood, but from the ultimate deceiver, who was after my baby and after my soul too. There might be someone listening right now, they're thinking, what am I going to do? Maybe it's a girl, what do you say to her? I think no matter what situation you're in, there is hope for you. And my life, my children, the husband I have now, the ministry I'm working in, is proof that there was a whole life waiting on the other side of my yes to God. And so stop what you're doing. I'm just speaking to whoever's listening. Stop what you're doing and say yes to Him because His plan for your life is so much better. 